In this video, we will show you the different options to configure multi-factor authentication in POTS. MFA is an additional security requirement on top of your username and password that helps to safeguard your data. MFA is required to access the class application, client view, and the class investor mobile app. You have two options to choose from to set up MFA, either the authenticator method or SMS. If you select Authenticator Method and proceed, you will need to scan the QR code with one of your Authenticator apps like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. Once you have scanned the QR code, enter the six-digit code that appears on the Authenticator app and click Verify Code to continue. If you wish to use the SMS method, select this and then click Proceed. You'll have two options. If your number has already been saved in class, you can select it from the drop down list. Or alternatively, you can add a new number. In this case, I'm going to select the number from the drop down list and click proceed. I can then click the send code, which will send me an SMS. Enter your six digit SMS code and then click verify code. If you haven't previously set up MFA, you will need to answer security questions, which will allow you to reset MFA in the future if ever you need. When you next log into class, you will be asked to enter your authenticator code or SMS code to log in. You can select this checkbox to remember your MFA for 24 hours. If you need to reset your MFA, you can click on Reset MFA. Once you successfully answer your security questions, you will be able to set up MFA again. If, however, you forget the answers to the security questions, you can reach out to someone to help you reset MFA. If you are a client view or mobile app user, you can contact the person who administers your entity on class. And for all other roles, you can contact your access controller.